<sighs> Damn it all. Feels like I've been driving for hours. Damn it. What the hell happened earlier? Everything was fine before. Me and my best friend out for a drink. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? One minute I go to the restroom, the next minute I hear all that screaming and shouting. <sighs> and that guy. <sighs> Never mind that. My attention should be to my friend. Not thinking about that jerk. <sighs> I gotta ask him what the hell happened. <sighs> uh, hey. You okay? I mean, are you feeling any better than before? <sighs> Good. Listen. It's okay if you don't want to talk about it, but it's really bothering me. What the hell happened? I mean, one moment everything was fine, and next minute all that kicked off. I just don't understand what brought it on. Okay, uh, you'll tell me what exactly happened if I promise to stay calm. Okay, sure, I can try. So, break it down for me then. What exactly happened, bit by bit? Okay, as I was going to the restroom, you were just finishing your beer, and that guy came up to you, and he kept saying some really mean things to you, gay slurs. Okay, and then what happened? <laughs> you told him where to stick it. And he started to get violent with you. Did anyone... <sighs> of course not. Listen, buddy, I, I don't condone what that guy did, but it just sounds to me just some drunk asshole who was just running his mouth, not knowing what he was doing, probably. Yeah, of course I understand that you were really scared but I just don't understand why he grabbed your wrist. Oh, you're getting to that part, okay. <sighs> then he started saying stuff about you being too feminine to be a man, and he wanted to take you back. Oh, you gotta be... <clears throat> that ass. No, no, you're right. I'm calm. I'm calm. <sighs> then what else happened? Then I came out and everything else is history. <laughs> At least I don't feel guilty about punching him now, that's for certain. I guess the only thing that matters now, that you're safe. And... <sighs> what a jerk. I mean, what did he mean by the whole being too feminine to be a man? Of course you're... Hey, hey. What's the matter? What are you crying for? <laughs> you're safe, alright? You're in my car, enjoying a little bit of music. And especially in the rain. <laughs> There's something you want to tell me. But you're worried that I'm going to treat you differently after this. <sighs> Listen to me. What? Forget what that guy said. In the end of the day, you are still amazing to be whoever you are. And sure, I've noticed there have been little changes about you here and there, but you're still the same person I enjoy hanging out with and having a great time with. <laughs> you always manage to make me smile, no matter what. <laughs> you're very welcome. So, whatever it is you need to tell me, I'm always here to support you. Alright? 
you're always there for me. <laughs> I mean, you helped me escape a very toxic relationship and there to support me when I needed it most, so of course I'm going to do the same for you. So, whatever it is you need to tell me, I will try and understand the best I can. Huh? You believe that you are transgender? Oh, okay, so you're saying that you believe that you're a woman in a man's body, basically. Wow, I mean, I have noticed that you've changed a little bit, and I'm... No, 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 listen, listen, it's okay, it's all right. I mean, <laughs> it took me by surprise, but I've had my suspicions for a while, but I normally didn't ask because it wasn't really my business to ask. And if you truly believe that you're a woman, then I will... I will respect that and help you in any way I can. Truly, I mean it. And I understand that sometimes you hear people saying it half-assedly and just say it just to be sweet, but no. You're one of my best friends. Of course I'm going to support you any way I can. As long as you talk to me about these kind of things. And maybe through this I can learn a little bit more about what it means to be transgender. So, I wanted to ask, um, when did you know? <laughs> I know that sounds really silly to ask, but was it a good while back, or was it like a recent thing, or... You've always known. Okay. I mean, <laughs> I won't lie to you. <laughs> it was definitely interesting to see you, uh playing with dolls instead of playing uh, soccer with me and the other guys or I did notice you were looking at dresses more than pants or hoodies and nothing's wrong with that to, don't get me wrong if you can pull it I'm sorry I'm rambling here point being is if you could pull off a dress I actually no I think you can pull off a dress really no I'm not just saying it I actually generally think you can I mean you got the body for it you know what I mean. Also, I did notice that you've let your hair grow a hell of a lot. And let me see. Very cool. Very cool indeed. I wish I could pull that kind of hairstyle off myself. Fair play. Not bad at all. <laughs> so you see, you don't have to be scared about being yourself around me. You're still my best friend. And... If you want me to go clothes shopping with you and help you finding, you know, the right shoes for the right dress and stuff like that, I don't mind doing that at all. So, I'm gonna ask, does this mean you're into guys now? Girls? Uh... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I guess we'll have to take one step at a time with that one. Point taken. But hey, I'll still be your wingman no matter what. <laughs> yes, I promise. Yes, and I promise not to be weird about it as well. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that sunset. Isn't that just lovely? I know, a bit random, but I'm a big sucker for views like this, you know? It's almost magical if you think about it. You know, maybe being transgender is like being a butterfly, if you think about it. Well, what I mean is, we all start as caterpillars first, right? Mm-hmm. And at one point, we go into a cocoon, and when we come out, we come out as beautiful butterflies with multiple colors and different shapes and sizes and all that. And I think, I think that's pretty much a beautiful thing, really. And if anyone doesn't like that, well... <laughs> they can kiss me arse. Because I believe everyone is beautiful one way or another. 
And I know that sounds really super corny, but that's the truth of it, really. <sighs> hmm? What is it? You're happy that you came out to me, but you're still scared. Scared of what? Other people's reactions. Yeah, I can't understand that feeling. I mean, do your folks know anything about this? They don't yet. Hmm. Right. It's not really my place to say what you do about that, but the only thing I will say is, before you tell them, I would definitely consider moving out of home first. You know, as the old saying goes, it's better to have your own network of safety than anything else, because I I'm pretty sure your folks will accept you, though. I really do believe that, because I believe they're really sweet, and I'm sure they love you. But I understand the uncertainty of it all, so of course, making sure that you have a system that stops any violence towards you and everything. So, I do have a solution for that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, me and my partner are looking for an apartment at the moment, and we're looking for a third person to move in with us. And I know you're still working in that coffee shop and everything, and... Yeah, exactly right, I'm asking you to move in with us. Hey, don't worry about it, it's no bother at all. I mean, it would make me feel a hundred times better knowing that you're safe than not at all. And the extra little bit of money would help a heck of a lot, so it's a win-win situation. And also, it gives you a safe place to come back to if the worst comes to worst when you come out to your folks and everything. But I do believe they will still love you all the same, but it's better to be safe than sorry. <laughs> and my partner does like you a lot, and... It would be cool to actually help you get on your feet and, you know, get on the property ladder and become a full-time grown-up and everything. <laughs> you are right, being a grown-up is very boring and annoying, but, you know, it's part of life. You can't escape it. The only thing you can do is try and have as much fun as possible when you're not being a grown-up, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I can hear it too. The thunder and lightning. It's getting pretty crazy outside, fair play. Uh, I'm just glad we're in the car right now, staying dry. Hmm. What is that? Is it okay if we keep driving for a while? Yeah, sure. No problem at all. <laughs> I mean, we could do a circle around the block or something. I don't mind. Yeah, exactly. We could just jam to tunes and just enjoy... Listen to the rain come down on the car and everything. No problem at all. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, just shut your eyes, it's fine. Just relax and enjoy the tunes. <laughs> and don't worry, I'll wake you up when the time is right and I'll drop you back to your house and everything. And hey, also we need to figure out which uh, club to go to now since that one is just no good at all, you know? <laughs> I mean, it'd be nice to go to a club that didn't smell like pee or anything. <laughs> and hey, I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you for opening up to me. It's a very brave thing you just did right there. A lot of people wouldn't have the courage like you did right there. And you should be proud of yourself for that one. And I mean that, truly. Hi. <sighs> No worries. Just get some sleep and just enjoy the music and the rain.